it's a liability. Okay. okay. Um, completeness. So the completeness assertion, as I said, takes on, is, is an important, really important assertion. Uh, and it's, it, it has a higher risk value with uh, uh, liabilities. Um, and so a, a standard audit procedure is to perform a search for unrecorded liability. And some of the things that an auditor does is basically, obviously, you're going to talk to your client and say, you know, do you have any liabilities that haven't been recorded, that should be recorded at year end? How do you go about identifying that you, uh, you've recorded all of the liabilities that should be recorded? What's the process? Other things they'll do is scan the open purchase order file, right? Because you want to see if the purchases have been outstanding for a long time, is it a possibility that you did receive the goods and just neglected to record the transaction? Examine all unmatched vendor statements or invoices, right? Because the vendor statements or vendor invoices should be matched to purchase order and a receiving report. Uh, examine all unmatched receiving reports occurring near year end. And so this is the cutoff test, right? You're, because, you know, there are a lot of things that are going on at year end. It's a possibility that something could fall through the cracks. So you want to look at receiving reports uh, near, near year end and, or, or around year end, so right before and right after. Look at um, tracing from unpaid vouchers in the accounts payable ledger to receiving reports. So look at where you're going. You're going from unpaid vouchers to the receiving report. Right? You want to make sure that what's recorded in there should be recorded in there. Right? Because the receiving report is the, is the document that triggers recognition of the liability. Confirm accounts payable with normal suppliers even those with zero balances. Why is that important? Why would you confirm a zero balance? Why do you think? Would you confirm a zero balance for accounts receivable? Hmm? Why not? What's the difference between this cycle and a sales cycle? Right, right? Because your concern here, your concern is unrecorded liabilities, right? So if it's a zero balance, that means that the liability is not recorded. And you want to make sure that there should not be a liability recorded that the zero balance is actually correct, right? Your concern here is unrecorded liabilities. You're not going to confirm a receivable with a zero balance because how likely is a customer, like really, is a customer going to get back to you and say, oh yeah, you're right, I don't owe you any money, and if they indeed do owe you money, right? Uh, review cash disbursements occurring after year end. Same, similar to looking at cash receipts we receive after year end, right? When we look at cash receipts after year end with respect to um, accounts receivable, that's a, an alternative procedure to test the existence of accounts receivable. Same here, reviewing cash disbursements after year end will tell you uh, if you see a cash disbursement after year end, but there's no liability recorded for that. Um, that disbursement, but the goods were actually received, again, that gives you, that tells you that it was an unrecorded liability as of year end. Uh, purchase cutoff, verify cutoff for purchases. So you want to examine receiving reports, vendor sales invoices, again, occurring around the year end, three, four days before year end, three,